Over 100 labor groups staged a protest at the legislature against the administration's push for a five-day workweek law. Those present maintain their stand that the proposed system, which only guarantees comp time off on one day a week, would exacerbate low wages and long working hours. Eight of the protesters even vowed a hunger strike until the administration responds to their demands. Over 100 representatives of labor unions and workers' rights groups wore white headbands and shouted slogans at the entrance to the legislature. They were there to protest the administration's version of a five-day workweek law, which would do away with seven designated national holidays for workers. Those present called upon the DPP not to bow to business interests in pushing through the measure. By eliminating these seven designated national holidays, the government is helping businesses and corporations avoid paying their workers almost 100 billion NT dollars. The administration really changed after taking office. After assuming office, all of their methods became slanted towards helping businesses. Business groups seemed helpless when confronted with the demands put forth by the protesters. Ten years or so ago, I predicted that people would end up working only four days per week. I'm not opposed to cutting working hours, and I can get behind the idea of making more money while working less at an office that's closer to your house. But the fact is that our current conditions don't permit it. Pointing out that Taiwan's average working hours were still less than those in South Korea, Hong Kong, and Singapore, Chinese National Federation of Industries Chairman Rock Xu went on to say that a prolonged dispute between workers and businesses over the five-day workweek law could have negative effects on the domestic economy.